Well, hello, folks, this is Jamil Sir for Gunstock Reviews. We're here in Scottsdale, Arizona at C2 Tactical, our favorite indoor facility, with something really cool from Mossberg. But before we start, I gotta please ask you to like, share, and subscribe this channel so we can continue to give you the content you like. So now, what's new from Mossberg? Well, they came up with the uh, retrograde shotguns a couple of years ago, and I like them so much that I had two of them, the 590 and the 590A1. This one happens to be the 590A1, and it's really, really cool. But here's what, what's new from them. It's the 590S. Check it out. Okay, you're gonna say, wait a minute, that is the same shotgun. It's like, well, it is the same, same shotgun with one big, gigantic improvement. In the past, if you wanted to shoot micro shells or mini shells, through the shotgun, you had to get what is called the Opsol, which is a rubber insert that goes in here that allows you to shoot uh, micro shells. But the downside is that when you wanted to change between full shells and micro shells, you had to take the Opsol on and off all the time. This shotgun, no, you don't have to. It's capable of shooting three, two and three quarter, and one and three quarter in shells without any changes. And I'm gonna show you how it works. But before, let's go ahead and talk about the features. Yeah, the stock is basically your standard Mossberg stock. It's synthetic, ready to go. The rear sight is the Mossberg branded, a fully adjustable ghost ring, in which we had in the original 590A1, but I removed it to put the XS because I wanted the capability to have um, the rail on it. Mossberg offers that feature too, on the higher price models, not on the base price model like this one. It has a front sight with an orange uh, dash on it, which works great, nothing wrong with that. And of course it has the really cool Mossberg uh, bayonet lug, in case you need to use a bayonet, okay? Um, the cool thing about the front sling stud, it can, even, it can go either on the bayonet lug or at the end of your tube cap. So your choice, where you wanna put it. So I decided to put this one here. On the 590A1, I have it on the front of the uh, stud up here. So it works great. So I have two choices. Now, I left the best port for last, which is the handguard. Mossberg has their own proprietary handguard with M-locks all over it. I haven't even started counting how many there are in here, but they're in one, two, three, four, five places. Strips or M-locks, you can attach anything you want to it. Uh, I don't like attaching too much stuff to my guns, but if you want to attach a light, a laser, a blender, uh, a toaster oven, anything you want to attach to it, it can go. The only thing that this shotgun is missing is the cheese grater, okay? I wish that they would have included the cheese grater with this gun, but of course, Mossberg sells it as an accessory. You can always put it on. This one, he, another cool thing in this shotgun, it has the ability to use chokes. So if you wanna change the choke setup in your shotgun, you're ready to go. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna show you the different shells I'm gonna be shooting through it. And I'm gonna, in front of you, I'm gonna load it so you know I'm not cheating. And we're gonna shoot three, uh, two and three quarter inch, one and three quarter, and stagger them one in the, uh, on the next. I'm gonna be using federal shotgun shells. The micro shells are federal and the full size two and three quarter shells are federal too with a number eight shot. So turn around and let's go ahead and do it. Okay, here it is, breech open. We're not a Hollywood production, gun is clear. And there you go, here's the two and three quarter shell. This is the mini shell, okay? This is a micro shell, excuse me. That's a federal name for it. Uh, the shorty shot, shot shells, I'm sorry. So here I'm, I'm gonna start with this one and I'm gonna stagger one and the other. So here you go. Oops, it flew out, so. Long one, short one. Long one, short one. Long one, short one. I think I can put one more. Long one, short one. Let's go ahead and do it. See how it feeds, how easy? Oh, and gotta take the safety off, I'm sorry. Oop. 
Sorry, that was me. I got so excited that I couldn't rack it correctly. So what can I say? Works great, shoots great. Let's go ahead and shoot Skeletor. It's coming at me. He looks pretty evil. So I'm gonna use only shorty shells with the one ounce rifle slug. Um, I haven't tried the tested the point of aim, point of impact with the slug. So we're gonna find out together. I'm gonna aim at the upper chest area and see how it shoots. Yeah, I think Skeletor is pretty much the last one. I got excited and I dropped it. That was my fault, okay? But we're about 10 yards and Skeletor is pretty much, uh, yeah, he's done for. He's down for the count. What can I say? I gotta get used to the shotgun because I get excited with racking the pump action so fast that I just don't engage the slider correctly and it's my fault because it's just me, I get all excited and I slip a little bit. That's one thing with it, with the, not having the ribs on it like the A1. Um, the, um, this one here, the uh, retrograde, it has those ribs in it. I get a better purchase with it. So I need to practice a whole lot more with it. I know that I can do it, but it slips being a little slippery and I'm not engaging the slider correctly. So I need to practice with it and I'll get good with it. But yeah, uh, point of aim, point of impact. Uh, I don't know, guys, what do you think? Uh, did I hit it correctly? Other than the one I dropped, and that was me. I think it came out pretty good. Uh, I like the shorty shells. They are really, really cool. This is something that everybody needs to have a bunch of, is those, these shorty shells from Federal. Uh, and they are very powerful. We're gonna do some uh, ballistic gel testing. As soon as I get some uh, number four buckshot, I ordered it, it's not here yet, but we'll go ahead and put a piece of gel down range. We're, but before we do that, we're gonna do some uh, pattern testing. We're gonna pattern how, the, how wide the pattern goes at different distances, and that's where we're gonna place our ballistic gel. So again, like always, please stay healthy, be safe, and have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.